What's going on everyone? We're here with Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. This is the DLC to Assassin's Creed 4. Super hyped to play this because we're going to be playing as Addy, one of the characters in Assassin's Creed 4. He definitely deserved more screen time in that game. You don't really get to see him that much, so I'm really excited to see how much more they're going to flesh out his story, how much more we're going to learn about him. He seems really awesome. And on top of that, we're playing this on PS5 again. I tried to buy the PC version of this game and it just wouldn't work for me. I don't know what's up with these PC ports, but Rogue works. So I will be playing Rogue on PC. So when we get to Rogue, we'll be playing in that beautiful 60 FPS, but this game will be in 30 FPS because that's what PS5 can do for this game, unfortunately. So let's just get into it, guys. Hit that like button if you want more Assassin's Creed. I would truly appreciate it. Let's jump in. Seventeen thirty-five, San Domingue. Look at him, the captain. My man has moved up, and you gotta love it. The parcel is with the Templar Admiral on the lead ship, Captain. Once he gives the orders, it will be lost. The parcel itself is less interesting than its intended recipient. Let's eliminate this errand boy, Admiral, and unmask the true Templar threat. Okay, we got to use the mortar to surprise when the I Templar an fleet. Assassin, I swore to leave piracy behind. He became an assassin. The creed more than once. Everything is permitted after all, Captain. Aye, and often it is necessary. Yes. There you go, Addy. We love to hear it. Let's surprise him with a mortar strike. All right, we're going to have to hit the sails with a chain shot. Who's coming at me first? You are? That's what's up. And heavy shot. Stay out the didn't necessarily connect with that heavy shot, but that's fine. Oh, they're going to use mortar strikes. You got to watch out for those. Oh, they're going to hit us with those pretty soon. Oh, we're right in it. Darn. Oh, we need to flip around. All right. Shoot them. Might be able to pull off a heavy shot here right now. Get those sails. I sunk them. Now we have these two here. We can't take on the <laughs> the woo! Our barrels, no good. All right, mortar strike. This is light work, guys. We've been doing this for about 50 to 60 hours in Assassin's Creed 4. <laughs> I feel so weak, though. My upgraded Jackdaw was so good. But here we are. Here we are. Bring it around to the side, and we're going to start boarding. What equipment do I have? Rope darts, smoke bombs. I don't have any swords right now. I have hidden blades though. Let's try shooting them. Oh, nice. We got the officers. Should be able to swing across now. Hello. Oh, we're surrounded. Guess what? Oh, wait, what? Drop the bomb. There you go. God, he's got his own finishing moves. That's really cool. 
They didn't do that for Aveline. Why not? They gave her the Connor pack. <laughs> the Connor animation pack. Oh, big guy. Hello. Take him out. Ah, the game still feels good. Let's go up here. Let's take him out. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's go below. We won. We won, men. What the heck? These guys are on my way. I need to go below. Jeez. They're still fighting, bro. There we go. Now we can go below. This outfit looks so cool, man. Hello. Someone's about to shoot me. Can't let that happen. Hi there, good sir. Take the package. Let's get out of here. Good work. Templars. Bastien Joseph. Port au Prince. What business do Templars have there? Captain! More French vessels at our tail! Whoa, that's not good. Too many! We'll retreat through the storm! We will be smashed ashore! A worse fate awaits if we let this land in Templar hands! Aye, Captain! Don't put your crew in danger! Those poor innocent men. Maroons. Who are Maroons? Let's see. Maroons were people from the West Indies, Central America, South America, and North America that escaped slavery and found, formed, and settled communities away from their oppressors. Oh. Although the African slaves were not the first to be treated so badly, the Taino tribes that first inhabited San Domingue were abused, bullied into submission by the Spanish. Refusing to work for them, the Taino people were the first to settle in the mountains and later made room for the fugitive slaves. Most of the slaves of San Domingue fled to the mountains to hide from their oppressors and start new lives, often based on subsistence, agriculture, and survival hunting. Some became warriors and fought for independence and the freedom of other slaves. Maroons were known to raise crops, attempt to scare off plantation owners and overseers, loot and conduct violent raids on nearby sugar and coffee plantations. But although these bands of maroon warriors grew in size, they more often than not lacked the leadership to carry through a large scale objective. I see how that could be an issue. Not surprisingly, the Code Noir, I don't know what that is, still sided with masters. They were given a great deal of liberty in their retaliation methods. Plantation slaves were killed in an attempt to keep the Maroons at bay. Many of the attackers were slaughtered, and the death penalty was given out as a common form of punishment. Maroons in San Domingue were ultimately responsible for one of the few successful slave upbringings in history. That's nice. And the only one to result in the founding of a free state, the Republic of Haiti. After a century of effort and more than one attempt, Note, Maroons are not to be confused with other black populations in San Domingue at the time, freedmen, slaves, who were freed legally through emancipation or manumission, and gens de collier, people of color, who were born free or freed at birth. That's interesting. Captain! Rescue yourselves! I must stay with the ship! No, I will stay with you! Did they get hit by lightning or something? What was that? Whoa. Use the barrels, use the barrels. Nah, we use the barrels, we're good. We win. We just gotta watch out for the cyclone. Oh, we got a rogue wave, rogue wave. 
Yo. Drive right into it. Woo. Good job. Just got to make sure we don't get hit by these cyclones here. Or any more rogue waves like that. The music is hitting here. Uh oh. Oh, don't get hit by the cyclone in the. Oh, it still hit me. Whoa, I just lost some crew. Everyone's dying, man. Why'd you do this, Addy? Why? This isn't good for your men. Did he lose everyone? Is he on the ship by himself? Looks like it. Oh, he's definitely getting washed. Oh, look at that wave. Jeez. We did all the objectives for once. That's great. Right? Dude, this might be my favorite assassin. He's got the coolest outfit. Look at that thing, man. Beautiful. Title drop? Yes! Oh no. Aw. We gotta help her. Oh, a machete? Hey, what a weapon. About to start killing people like I'm Jason Voorhees. Hold on a minute. The machete, a large knife, can be used either as a tool or a weapon, and the blade can vary in length. Machetes were frequently used to cut through undergrowth, trim vegetation, harvest sugarcane, and cut open fruits. They were convenient as a weapon because they were used so frequently, making them easily attainable on plantations. Oh. Makes sense why he has one. And why he was able to find one so easily. Alright, let's get this guy. Oh, he's gonna shoot her! Ugh! Jeez. Oh, I have nothing to offer but thanks. Nothing else is needed. As a boy, I fled the same fate. Why would you risk recapture? Men of principle know the bigger risk is to turn away. I'm looking for Bastian Joseph. Do you know her? Moi même. But any fine gentleman may lead you to her. Too late for this one. Find another in town. The thanks is now mine. Do you have a place of refuge? My family waits in the mountains. Demon, gemon. avec vous. Yeah, I did say earlier that they fled to the mountains. Overseers. Plantation owners in the colonies were generally wealthy white Europeans, of course. 
ruling in absentia most of the time. They delegated their authority to overseers who controlled the day-to-day -day production of the plantation. The overseers were the people in charge of running the plantation's day-to-day -day activities, administering discipline, and often acting in place of the true owners. And I can guess that there's a lot of corruption there. Oh, we can liberate the slaves? No way. Ooh, slavery in San Domingue. Let's, let's learn about that. Hispaniola was first home to Taino tribes who suffered abuse, disease, and slavery after first contact with the Spanish, ultimately reducing their population to an estimated 500 people by 1548. I wonder how many people they had before that. With native populations waning, colonies looked for other sources of manual labor to help supply Europe's growing demand for goods. They turned to Africa. In French-controlled San Domingue, conditions were punishing and birth rates for slaves were lower than death rates. That's horrible. Rather than improve conditions, the colony simply increased the rate at which it imported slaves. By the 18th century, San Domingue had become home to the largest slave society with the most brutal conditions in the world. Wow. Very upsetting. Jailers. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. What the prince? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to the database. Sometimes when I hold the trackpad, it doesn't do anything. Today, Port au Prince is known as the capital and largest city in Haiti, but it took a long time to get there. Changing hands as interest shifted and power changed hands, a bustling center of commerce in the 1730s. The current port area was part of the grand scheme of San Domingue, which was then home to over 140 sugar plantations. The English did not trouble the area during this decade, and various nobles sought land grants and port from the French monarchy. African slaves outnumbered the rest of the population by a large margin. From a maroon perspective, port was significant as a trading location and a major center for slave labor. It would also become a strategic target in the slave revolution that built in starts and stops throughout the 18th century, ultimately uh, illuminating in the founding of the Republic of Haiti. There's a treasure chest here. What's going on over here? Liberate slaves. I'm going to use sleeve darts on him. And then liberate my brothers. You're welcome. There's a guy in the cell over there. Might do an air assassination here. Oh, what the machete? That's kind of fire. I'd have to admit. Hi. It was way too late. By the time he saw me, I was already on his head. I thought I was going to die. Thank you. We can only Not anymore. To this by each other. That's true. We got to help each other. Got to work together. There's a viewpoint nearby. We should go to that. Let's do this viewpoint real quick. Climb up here. Can't climb up there. There we go. Couple little things I can climb up. Nice. Let's synchronize. Oh, that's got to be the coolest synchronized jingle we've heard so far.
the chest right here. Locate a gentleman. There he is. Mark my words, though. Luzanne has eyes only for me. I'm on my way there now to present her with a gift. Enjoy yourself, sir. And fear not, you'll meet no competition for me. My heart is too weak. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh look, Code Noir. What the heck was that? Can't really read it. That's really interesting to see. So I see there's a lot of like little side things that we can do. Just like in Assassin's Creed 4. Is there any real reason to get like money and stuff in this? Because I mean, it's just a standalone game, right? You're only playing it for like, I mean, a DLC, I mean, not a standalone game. Well, it is. It's both, but it's not that long. It's only like a few hours. Compared to the main game. I think someone speed ran this game and beat it in about an hour. That's pretty short. Oh, there they are. Whoa, what the? What? I was just walking over to that little group of people so I could blend in with them and I could hear the eavesdrop or the conversation. What? You think me a traitor? Slaves would be safer for it. Monsieur Gouverneur, they felt safe at the plantation. Do you think they would rebel? <laughs> of course. It is their animal nature. Violence is the only currency that motivates them. Like coin for you. If you really want to protect your African friends, spread the word. Quiet them down. Otherwise... You need not describe. I know what you do. Well, I could not raise hand to hurt a fly. But the overseers have every right to discipline as they see fit. It will not be necessary. I will deliver your message. The cost will be high. We will both profit by Is there any other service you require? Gouverneur. Oh, an old man like me. I dare say Guzan has exhausted me already. Then show yourself out. Yeah, did she? She exhausted you? Weirdo. This is her? The Bastion? Let's read about her. An intelligent, outwardly go outgoing woman, Bastion Joseph had many acquaintances and few friends. Born free and raised by her mother, a prostitute at La Dame and Rose, Bastion Joseph made her first friends by selling glimpses of illicit acts to local children, but was shunned and labeled as morally corrupt as a young teenager. That's terrible. Choosing to avoid prostitution herself, Bastion learned to read, write, and manage financial affairs. That's good. In time, she became the brothel madame's indispensable right-hand woman. In this capacity, she bore witness to all the secret deal-making, political manipulation, and scandal among the brothel's patrons, and learned that the true power of the madame of La Dame in Rose 
engaged one, she ultimately avoided the altar, realizing it would deprive her of the freedom she had carefully cultivated for herself. Very true. She instead inherited the brothel following her mentor's death and took private pleasure in seeing the bullies and hypocrites of her childhood become her paying patrons once more. In the successful business the previous madame had built, Joseph saw potential for something more, doubling her business. She then used the brothel to undertake two types of action on behalf of Maroons and enslaved Africans in Port-au-Prince. She used the proceeds to buy the freedom of slaves and used the confidential veil of the brothel itself in tandem with her control over the women who worked there to solicit political favors from powerful clients, including Governor de Fayette and the scientist Louis Godin. Oh, I've heard of him. In 1735, she met Adewale for the first time, and the two became uneasy partners in helping Augustine de Four and the Maroon cause. It does seem that a friendship developed between them, but is unclear to what extent. Talking about like a relationship, possibly? Madame Joseph, expecting a package. It, but not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. And do you mean for me to meet the same fate? Look around. One threat, and these men will end you. I bring no threat. Tell me, how do the Templars allow you to carry on like this? <laughs> I am only the messenger. But before you judge, remember, the Templars coin like any will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this, Mark. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor. Oh. And an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I think the storm stranded you. What do you need? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. And perhaps something can be arranged. Is this your game? Very well. And you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. First find his plantation contact and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Silly patoto crabla va manger. Silly patoto crabla va manger. Am I a convincing baritone? <laughs> now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious. Look at that dress, though. Her outfit is fire. I love the colors. I didn't know my boy Attic could sing a little bit. All right, we got you. We see you. Uh oh. Kill him. Nice. Get out of here. Go. What's going on up ahead? Just one enemy.
Not coming over here? Okay. Well, I'll come over there. I swing right over them. That was kind of nice. Plantation raids are a good way to liberate many slaves simultaneously. You can find them near Port-au-Prince and in the rest of the Caribbean. However, once a plantation has been successfully raided, it will become deserted until a new owner establishes himself in that location. They want me to kill all the overseers. Are we out here? Hold on. Slaves are singing. You can see me all the way over there. Oh, he can see me. Oh, he can't. The singing is so beautiful. I didn't know they were going to add like a nice touch like that. It's really cool. She was so mean. She was so mad. She was upset. Okay, Ubisoft outdid themselves with that, though. I love that. I was not expecting that whatsoever. That was a pleasant surprise. Oh, the music's hidden. What the heck? game could definitely become one of my favorite soundtracks 
Let's synchronize. We need four more overseers. What? Even as you approach them, you can hear them humming. I love it. I love how people turn to music and just entertainment in general during times of turmoil, you know, when they're feeling their worst. I mean, the world just did that recently with uh, movies, streaming, also music. During COVID, all of that stuff boomed, right? Nobody could leave their homes and such. People were stuck inside worrying if they were going to get sick or not, or if they were going to die or not, or if their family was going to die or not. But they were able to find some joy in platforms like Twitch, YouTube, etc., etc. I'm glad that I could be a part of that, though. That makes me feel really good. Whoa. Got him. Let's loot. All right, we finished the side activities. You're not safe out here. Go. Find go, 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 go. Get out of here. I saved the max amount, I think. Okay. We out here. Hey. Okay. Hey, don't don't have me out here dancing though. Locate the contact on the plantation. Okay, we can do that. Hold on. This music is fire. All right, where are they? They're supposed to be around here somewhere. Oh, right there. I know this too. The wise man is down that path. Thank you, sister. I'm really sad that the two games that deal with African culture the most are side games. No tea, no shade. Jeez. Whoa. God. 
push an overseer into the water, perform an air assassination. I think I'm gonna do that right here now. This cave looks familiar. Let's let's read about Augustine. Every time I try to hold this, the touchpad is the worst thing ever invented, man. I don't know why they put this on a controller. It's stupid. Augustine was born into slavery in 1701, sold away from his mother, and passed from plantation to plantation as owners leapt at the chance to buy him cheaply, only to find him too thin and frail to be of much use. That would probably be me, man. Changing hands so often gave Augustine an advantage. He learned the layouts, routines, and habits of plantations and their overseers across San Domingue. He used this knowledge to plan a careful escape and thus became one of the few child slaves to survive to adulthood. A deeply faithful man, Augustine was baptized Catholic, same, in accordance with the rules of the Code Noir, but drew his spirituality from voodoo and his strength from his unwavering drive for African independence in San Domingue. In 1735, he was introduced to Atawale following a raid on his headquarters, and the two formed a loose partnership, exchanging strengths and ideas over the years that follow. I'm gonna throw this guy in the water. Good job. Is this really a mission where I need to stealth? Okay. Does he not hear me? Oh, he does now. Um, now. Good job. Oh. Oh. Good job. Took him out nicely. We're going to go over here. Alright, we can get these two over here. Perfect. Can we loot? Can I save them? No. I've come to play. We are going nuts with the stealth. That was great. Do not let them escape the river. Before they bring more enemies. Right here, yes, sir. 
I like how the boat stopped right there. Ah! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Get in that water, boy. Nice. That was fun. That was a great mission. Augustine's your fault. <laughs> Blandi sans fait. Bon Dieu fait sans dit. The French governor is two faced. Bastien helps as she can. But Marot independence is long to build. <sighs> Longer now. A warrior like you would be a great asset to our cause. With due respect, I serve a different brotherhood and I'm honor bound to return as soon as I find the means. But only the Iwa know when that will be. Meantime, I have sanctuary and weapons to share. Perhaps our needs may align for a time. What do you need? Recruits, liberated slaves. The warriors among them join me. The others grow the community for which we fight. Titafti, Wazo Fesoni. I suppose I might lend a hand for a time. Petit Bashi. I will see that you are rewarded for whatever you can give. Okay. Give me that gun, please. Let's begin soon. There's much to do. I think it's like a shotgun. Yeah, you know we're getting crazy with that thing. I think it's nuts. Liberating slaves secures the trust of the other freed people. They can assist you by providing new weapons and new upgrades for you and your ship. Re recruiting maroons helps you build resistance in various ways. They can join your ship's crew, infiltrate plantations, or even provide you with ammunition. I can't say it the proper way. He said it the proper way. I can't say maroon the proper way. I don't have that. You know, I don't have, I don't have it. I, I just don't have it. It's not there. All right, let's keep going. Let's get this blunderbuss ammunition. I'm gonna buy from you, sir. What you got? Well, let me get some of those. Small lead shots. Good day, and fortune favor you. It's funny because while we were doing that last mission, I got alerted by my mom, text-wise, and. She just told me that the Detroit Lions beat the Buccaneers. That's a W. <laughs> We're out here. Detroit is on the come up, baby. My hometown is finally possibly going to win something. It is unbelievable. The blunderbuss is a firearm that can deal damage to multiple targets. It has a shorter range, kills instantly, and fires only once between reloading. Oh, wow. Press triangle to perform a quick shot. Okay, and we can aim it too. Nice. There are multiple variations of the blunderbuss, each with its own specifications. That's cool. That's really in depth. Hey, yo. <laughs> Gotta be the best game. That's gotta be the best gun in the game, for sure. We didn't get nothing like that. We weren't cooking like that in Assassin's Creed 4. Base game. Oh, I got a recruit. All right, so the mission's locked until I recruit. So we held this place down though. So this place is good, right? What's this over here? I guess nothing. 
I'm just happy. My city, we're coming up, y'all. You know, if you don't live in America, I'm just going to tell you right now, Detroit, we don't win nothing ever. <laughs> ever. Our sports teams have been bad for ages. And it's so nice to see us get somewhere. I remember back when I lived in Detroit, I went to the NBA Finals when it was the Pistons versus the Lakers back in 04. That was the last time Detroit did anything. We went, we went to the Finals again versus the Spurs, I think, in 05 or 06. But other than that, we've been looking bad, man. The city just ain't winning. What pouches can I get? Oh, you can buy these. That's cool. Let me get some sleep darts. Let me get some smoke bombs. I don't really know what else to do with my money. I don't know if I'm going to have to upgrade my ship or anything. I hope I don't. I really don't want to do that again. That's no bueno. No, sir. No, sir. Go! Go! Oh, crap. Big boy. Don't even worry about it. We got the blunder bus. Damn! Just like that. That thing is nuts. All right, we gotta we gotta go around and do some things here. What's that? Good physical condition. I could buy them. Okay, yeah, capitalism. You've endured enough. Go on, Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they brought those things back. I think I might have ran into one of those areas in uh, Assassin's Creed 4 where I could like run through a building. That was it. Is this on top of the... Is this upstairs somewhere? Oh, please leave me alone. Yeah, it is. Hello. Bro, really? Hide real quick. Okay. Let's loot. What's going on here? I can make it by myself. Good man. Oh wait, what? It said it said press L1. I'm so confused. I guess I gotta take him up here. Man, I don't. All right. Well, we're surrounded right now. Drop a bomb. Jeez. Yeah, the machete's got to be the best weapon in Assassin's Creed history. <laughs> Oh, it picks people up off the ground. It's that good. All right, let's liberate these guys. I got to take this guy up here, I guess. You would do the same if you could. You. Oh, my. Move. Be careful. I think he'll be all right up here. 
and these bushes and the vegetation oh check it out yeah but that only got me one slave I guess I helped a couple. All right. Guess we can also pick up these chests while we're doing this. What are you doing? No. Jeez. Bro, that means... Hold on. Let me see something real quick. That means this has to have a... A counter animation. Oh, I need to see that. But this gun, it has to be really cool. That man is taking off. He looking like Jonathan Majors. On that video camera when he was running away from that girl. <laughs> oh, that's, that's probably a mean joke. All right, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I thought he was going to do so. Oh, no, he's going to shoot me in the back. You dirty, dirty man. Battle music's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Get up out of here. All right, let me see, because I think I got something for the Code Noir. The Code Noir was originally established in May 1685 by King Louis XIV of France and enacted in March 1687. It was a set of rules governing the rights and, pol and policing of slaves and remained in effect until 1789. Articles of the Code Noir made Catholicism mandatory in French colonies provided guidelines for slave punishments and also included a number of articles designed to limit the mistreatment of slaves. Masters were obligated to provide shelter, food, and clothing for their slaves and were not allowed to torture or mutilate their workers, only beat them. Slave families were not to be sold separately. Care was to be given to the sick and dying. It was also stated that masters should only punish repeat offenders. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they're kind of nice, right? But the Code Noir was never fully enforced, making way for all sorts of abuse. Most slave owners only adhered to the articles that benefited them. Some masters even became known for their cruelty and inventive methods of torture, and many violations were waived and overlooked. This was especially the case in Saint and San Domingue, where the pressures to remain the world leader in sugar and coffee production was felt most strongly by the slaves who provided all of the necessary labor. If you don't tell these people out here that they need to drink something else other than coffee and consume something else other than sugar, that is ridiculous. Huh? Oh, I got a human shield. shield. Come on up here and fight, boy. Yup, this is the best fight song, for sure. This theme is great. He left the machete in dude's leg. I know you saw that. Make your I don't want to help the guy with his leg. Aw. You got to always carry them so far away. All right, we'll go this way. Yeah, this one is tedious. Oh my god. I can't thank you enough.
All right, there's some chests down here. Let's grab those. get that guy from here no oh wait yeah i can let's take the key off him at least i can feel good while i do these little side quests you know i'm saving people oh i don't have it reloaded i was about to blast that man Loot it. There you go. The counter that I did with the gun wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be, but maybe next time it'll be cool. We're going to have to figure that out right now. Let's do it. Blew that man's leg sh clean off, dude. If this game had the graphics where like their legs and limbs and all that stuff just like flew off when you like cut them, you could cut them off or shoot them off. That'd be nuts. This would be game of the year. I think I said that already before, but I stand behind that. No, sir. You can't run when I catch you, you will oh, shoot. Come back here. This man's got hops. He needs to be an assassin. Okay, we we rescued him. The guy with the key. Oh, he's over here. It's not over yet. Hey, yo, we're not going to be whipping people on my account. All right, now we can do the mission. So they make you do some side quests in this game. They're like, yeah, you got to go do the side quest. Every day, more slaves arrive. Human cargo makes for lucrative trade. I once hoped men of education could be made to see the cost. The profit makes them ignorant. With the right vessel, you could intercept the slave ships before they arrive. Or you would be free to leave. You have already paid more than your share to the Mahwo of Sendoman, and I am no master. I cannot choose for you. This brigantine can meet your needs if you could relieve it of its crew. Bastien has volunteered her woman to draw the men away. Oh, or nice. You set this tower light to distract them. Excellent options, all of them. What's this? Firecrackers. Some of your recruits oh, nice. salvaged them. It's only right that you should use them. Excellent. Once you send me a signal, 
I will send our men to join you. Firecrackers will attract all nearby guards to your position when lit. Use them to create diversions and draw guards away from specific locations. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he saw me. That's no good. I'm gonna go over here. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. guy up there. Uh, don't use the gun. Sleep dart. Alright, he's knocked out. jump across we could use a berserk dart on this guy right here Has he died? No, he's still doing stuff over there. Oh, they're helping me. Nice. That was good. It actually got let me get away. I need this powder keg right here. See if that works. Uh oh. They don't last that long. Okay, so. I just need to get that. We could use a berserk dart. Get one of those guys riled up.
There we go. He took out what I needed him to take out. Got him. Oh, crap. This guy saw me. What? Pick it up. All right, we're going to put this down here. And ignite it. Ooh, get out of there. Hide in that bush. Ah, they're all going over there. Nice. Okay, that's great. We just got to wait for the perfect time. Are they dying? Oh, no. I'll swim. job this music is so fire okay we made it over here Those guys up top see everything, man. I swear. Ah. Okay, whatever. Let's just kill everybody. At least we don't have to kill that many people. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Good job. I go up. Um. There you go. Come on. This feels epic, though. We got us the ship, boys. Got a new crew and all. So this is technically when they kind of get rid of the modern storyline, right? Because, like, I don't think this game is going to have any modern storyline at all. Nice to see you here. Are you not needed in the headquarters? I can train in order to take my place, dear. But when you are gone, who will captain the ship? You must teach me. Aye, I will. But you must not call me captain. You are the leader of these men. Okay. But you have earned the right. At sea, you will be my captain. I love the respect between them. That's awesome. How did you come by your knowledge of the sea, Ade? It was my first true home. Buccaneers offered me my first. Ready to fire! Oh, messed that story up. Fire! Yes, sir. Fire! 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 Fire!
I think he was going to talk about the jackdaw, though. I feel like he was. Is this a slave ship or is this just a normal ship? I wish games didn't have dialogue that can be. Oh, here we go. I on a plantation. I dare not my wound there who could use your help. I know we are not alone in Saint Domingue to fight for independence. That could well be. I have not returns to find out. Close down! Okay, I'm not focused on this. I want to do a slave ship. It's all the way out there, though. Okay, I'm glad we're not in the same area as before. Because that'd really make me upset. <laughs> like, as in the same map of Assassin's Creed 4. Because it would have been just really upsetting to see me having everything unlocked and beaten. And they're just like, nope. This is DLC, so this is new stuff. I'm glad this is like a new area. That would have made me cry. <laughs> I put so many hours into that freaking game, man. Our brothers are on that ship. They still have shanties? Doesn't really give me the ability to check. Yeah, actually, I can hear them singing now. Do not attack slave ships. Okay, so. We'll... Did you ever hear tell of the jackdaw? August oh, there it is. Can we ship and mine for some months? Legends tell that she sunk somewhere. She sunk off the coast of Hispaniola, but none know just where. You believe it is here? More likely, I succumb to nostalgia in my age. The jackdaw! My ship sunk? Uh. I think Edward dies too. Um, not too long after Assassin's Creed 4, right? Alright. Y'all out doing yourselves with this music. Fire. This is going to be the episode Fire. where Blaze just talks about the music the whole time. Fire. My Fire. ship, though. The jackdaw. Fire. Edward dying is really sad, to be honest. Doesn't his daughter die, too? I don't know. As much sad as you can. I can't remember what happens to his daughter. We know what happens to hate them. We saw that. Nice. How come the hunter ships attack you so fast? Hey, they be on you, bro. Is it because we're a ship of black men? <laughs> Heck no, nah, that's crazy. I don't remember them. I don't remember the hunter ships being this aggressive in the last game. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I barely saw them. My last playthrough. How do I liberate them? Oh, you, you got to board them. That ship away from us. I'm just saying, it's a little fishy because. <laughs> but it makes sense too at the same time. I'm not saying that the game's racist or anything. I'm just making a joke out of it.
Just having a little fun. Oh. We can also use the rope dart to do uh, counter moves. Like this. <laughs> nice. We won. That's our first one that we liberated. Aww. I'm definitely getting hit with a copyright claim. <laughs> this music's got to be copyrighted. All right, let's try this. How do we heal up, bro? If it works the same way the base game does, it's not gonna, it's not looking good. Maybe I can board this hunter ship though. Let me see. And board. That was a good shot. Bro, I'm about to use my blunderbuss. came for the gameplay and the story I stayed for the music <laughs> mm. Okay, okay, okay. Slow it down. All right, let's check out the map real quick. Um, there's some plantations around. What the heck is this? I was like, Black Panthers? Off the wind, Zella. I'm really sad to hear what happened to the jackdaw though. My upgraded behemoth of a ship sinking. That's ridiculous. Fire! Was that a mine? If I go here, what do I get? Is there like little side missions or something I can do here? Hold on, let's see. Toast the gallons and royals. Right, we're gonna board here. Oh, I see treasure chests. Oh, just chests. That's it. Guess I can get some quick bucks. Can I go up there? I don't really see a way unless I can go up this. I don't really see another way though. You could probably go into that fort more, but I just kind of went there for the captain's trick. 
a couple of chests that I saw. Let's keep going. It's nice that we visited the little area, though. There's a ship burning out there. Uh oh. Big ship. Might need to attack it. behind me might start firing. Whoa! Yeah, that's no good. We're getting cooked. Stay out of range, We're legit getting cooked. Fire. Fire. There's mines everywhere. Yeah, I'm dead. Jeez. I wasn't sure if I was going to have the fire uh, firepower to fight that ship. All right, let's go this way. Okay, so we can upgrade this ship. So let's upgrade it. What can I buy from you? Ammunition, of course. Okay, I want to definitely upgrade the armor. Let's do the round shot. And the heavy shot. And then I'll come back later. We're going to we're going to really need to be upgraded if we're going to take out these ships cuz it's not looking good for us guys. What's this guy got? I can buy pouches. Let's buy that. Let's buy that. You are wise. Let's get out of here. There's a slave ship nearby that we could liberate. Let's do that. Give me some speed. Um, we can use the mortars here. Get their attention. Fire. Not trying to attack the slave ship. I'm sorry. Good here, though. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. Get rid of their sails. Let's move a little faster here, guys. Heavy shot. Pretty soon. Fire! Fire! 
Yep, of course we're wanted. Oh, jeez. Fire! 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 Got him. Okay, nice. Ready to fire. Protodon. Board them before that hunter ship comes. All right, let's do this. like having the dual pistols though because you go boom 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 in just different directions that was so useful What about the game, but the music? <laughs> Close up. God dang, this episode, bro. <laughs> this episode is just me dancing and talking about how good the music is. Maybe that's all it needs to be. I should embrace it. reset the wanted level that goes up so fast now Loose and catch the wind. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. all right the mission's this way How far away from it are we? We are. Oh yeah, we're a good distance away. It's gonna take us a while. We might have to fight a ship or two on the way. Might be a good idea. Possibly this ship, because it's in our way. Fire! 
There it is. Let's flip her around. And board. We need some repairs. On top of it, it's probably a good idea just for the upgrades. I hate how they camp the ledge like that, waiting for you to jump over. My man ruined my combo. Hmm. Repair. We can move on with our lives. So far, I feel like this DLC is pretty entertaining. I love all of the new animations that Ade does. I think that's fun to see. I do like the new weapons and equipment that we've gotten so far. I think the firecrackers are very useful. I think they would have been really good to have in the base game, to be honest. I like that we got a machete. I kind of wish you could have got a machete in the base game also. Would have been really nice to fight with. Having the rope darts is really nice early on. Um, Man, I feel like the machete makes the hidden blades irrelevant for me right now. Like, I really just want to use the machete the entire time. I'm glad that they just kind of gave him his own moveset in general compared to Liberation, where I felt like that one, well, it wasn't even feeling like that one was a copy. It literally was carbon copy Connor. Um, I like how they also don't really expect you to upgrade your ship all that much. So you can and you will, but you don't have to go around looking for plans and all of that. And I think that's really awesome. Here we are. We're back. Lifting the veil. That was a pretty solid experience. It's exactly what most people would want. It's just... Assassin's Creed 4, but more. And there's nothing wrong with that. Gotta go back to the brothel. I'm also liking the new characters in this. The ones that we've met so far. Monsieur Adwele, the Mayon cause has made an ally of you. Augustine speaks highly of your help. I do not know how much longer I'll be able to continue, but the Maroons are outstanding warriors. Augustine has provided me with everything I might need to get by until I return to my brothers. I believe you owe me a parcel then. Let me hold it a while longer, for safekeeping. 
You are not a man of your word. My word was perhaps. It stands. He wasn't wrong. How little you must think of me. On the contrary, you have maintained your freedom among the French by the deft handling of your indispensable business. I respect you highly. What would be a fool to trust anyone so clever so soon? Mm. What a keen eye and sweet tongue you have. Since you cannot provide me with the one thing I truly desire, I hope to compel you to demonstrate some respect by some other means. I would consider it. I need a careful and observant man to investigate the Gouverneur. I must know what distracts him. And why he enforces the Code Noir ever more strictly. The lives of the slaves depend on it. I share your curiosity. I'll pay you this favor for the slaves. Perhaps there is some honor in you yet. You will need a disguise. Please, change into these. The way they look at each other, though, whoa. It's getting hot. What do you mean by this indignity? Do you mean to see me recapture? Indignity? Do you hold your enslaved brothers in such low esteem? Do you hold any man in high esteem? Or are we all pawns to you? <laughs> you should be so lucky. There is no trick. It is only that the excess of the occasion calls for an abundance of supplies to be delivered to his mansion. That's where you come in. With your crate, you will blend in with the men delivering the goods. Once on the ground, you can spy on the good gouverneur. Will the overseers not notice one man extra? Or are you simply unconcerned for my well-being? <laughs> I've never met an overseer who could tell two slaves apart. <laughs> Good point. Be careful. I sense you are as bright as you are strong. You will figure it out. Yes, ma'am. Here they come. Join the line. Be careful. Here we go. What's going on back there? Fall in line. Didn't even notice. Didn't even bat an eye. Didn't even think about it. Who are you? A friend. This is a joke to you. No. You will get us all killed. Another fit for the pig. You are too complacent. Excellent. Put the crates down there. Shall miss you. <laughs> Enough uh, socializing. Back to work. The grounds must be fit for a king when my guests arrive. Crazy bastards. Both of them should be whipped. I'm a prince, you realize? I'm a prince for putting up with you. You're a prince, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, my feet hurt. What good is complaining? I will remember you said that. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go blend in. This is smart. Friend, does the guard change often 
As often as night moves today. Thank you. If you are a friend, prove it, Blanc. Oh crap. Cette crapule s'enfuit. Tu crois aller où comme ça? Got him. I don't have anything, huh? Jeez, this is going to be tough. Gotta get in the mansion somehow. Got this guy. So far, so good. Looks like I can. I heard you gave Bastian's girl a jewel worth more than half the fleet. Does this account for the missing funds? What I do with my purse is my own business. What happened to the funds I released last month? But the science of navigation is expensive. I dare say it is. If you measure every fathom in perfume and silk. Oh, shoot. I don't know how to get in there. Could we not use a French ship? Are you trying to start a war? A treaty between our nations is fragile. We cannot afford. Oh crap. Are you trying to start a war? A treaty between our nations is fragile. We cannot afford any suspicion of smuggling. Your name will go down in history with mine if you supply the funds and the ship. Thank you for the offer, but I have an expensive colony to govern. With the volume of slaves you import, I'd have thought you'd have gold to spare. Even free labor is not free, my friend. The slaves are expensive to replace. The poor beasts expire before they can reproduce. Even your slave ships would benefit from improved navigation. Or accidents. Now that is interesting. Okay. That's all we needed to do. go this way you want to fight too? No. We can go liberate the slaves over here oh we're gonna have to fight these guys No, no, no. Dang this guy. Well, that's no good. And the slaves are dead. Okay. Yeah, I should just get out of here. I 
I don't even have my smoke bombs or anything. Tried to do the side activities, but didn't get it that time. Dang, they saw me. I think we got away. Okay, well that was unfortunate. I tried to save those slaves. Those slaves weren't playing. They were like, you're gonna get us killed and I really did get them killed. Oops. you learned the governor is overconfident despite his guard i could have ended him with my bare hands he would have deserved it what makes you believe you need him i keep my friends close and my enemies closer which camp are you in will you tell me what you have learned who distracts him a bold-faced scientist godin hounds the governor for funds Something about an expedition, navigational secrets. Why is this the first time I hear of him? Is my whole network turned against me? Does the harbor master think I give him my best girls out of kindness? Do you wish me to investigate further? I admit, as a man of the sea, the science of navigation intrigues me. No. Yes. I don't know. As you wish, but leave me, I must think. Yeah, she seemed flustered. That's no good. What just happened? What? Why am I here? That was a weird transition. Wait, it wants me to go back to the brothel? The heck what is happening here? Bastien, I feel we lost you to the bitterness of depression. Never. Those arrogant men cannot cut me out of my own network. The cost is too great for the slaves. And for your pride. What does it matter? So long as I work for their freedom. Whatever has inspired it, I'm glad to hear the fight back in your voice. How can I help? The scientist, Godin. What is his full purpose here? Can you find that out? Whatever secrets he carries, I will uncover. Start with the harbor master. He sees everyone who comes and goes. He should have kept me informed. Seems like she doesn't have the grip she thought she did. Okay, so the harbor master is this way. Is 
I have so much money. How? They must give you a lot of money. I know I've been collecting a lot of chests, and I feel like the chests do kind of give you a lot. For reasons of scientific record keeping, three uh, literate slaves. Uh, who would have taught them? The Côte Noire prohibits. Perhaps among your house slaves, uh, such a worker exists? You make it sounds like Aveline. There is a reward. But what will they do? Take notes, I suppose? Can none of the French scientists take notes? Not if they are to carry equipment at the same time. Alright, so we have to do this investigating. Let's go on the database real quick. Who is this Godin guy? Louis Godin was born in France and demonstrated academic ability early, publishing his astronomical tables in 1724 at the age of 19 and gaining admittance to the Academie Francaise. His success as a scientist led to his selection as leader of the geodesic expedition to Peru, but he proved to be a poor leader, <laughs> simultaneously becoming thirsty for power and squandering expedition money on a pursuit on a prostitute from La Dame and Rose, with whom he fell in love while the expedition was stranded in San Domingue in 1732. We heard about her. The geodesic mission to the equator was a joint expedition to Peru by a team of French and Spanish scientists. Its purpose was to measure the circumference of the Earth. Godin's expedition was only a partial success, its results ultimately overshadowed by those of a simultaneous mission to the North Pole, but its data did allow scientists to confirm the oblate shape of the Earth, which allowed sailors like Atahuale to plan their travels more accurately, thus reducing costs and risks. That's why Adewale said that he was really interested in it. In the science of navigation. Are these all eavesdropping? Where's the carrier at? Once the circumference of the earth is known, we may navigate more precisely and better anticipate the position of the enemy. We will require fewer ships because we will lose fewer ships. Our cannons will aim true and commercially well. You know how it is with pirates and slave ships. We can put an end to nonsense by supporting this expedition. Signed, Gouverneur de Faye. <laughs> there is much at stake here. These animals are in fine shape. Wait till we get to Unity, guys. I'm gonna really be butchering names. <laughs> Not gonna know how to pronounce anybody's name or anything. <laughs> That's gonna be a tough one. Is 
he like right below me? Okay, what do I have to do with them? Oh, I guess I need to go to the marker first. Ooh. Yeah. In the territory of Quito, the mountains and plains will favorize our triangulations. Our measurements will allow us to know the exact shape of the earth. Egg over. Ooh. Did I just fail? Like completely? That was my bad. Can I not redo that? Reload? Okay, so we have to do this next investigation here. In the territory of Quito, the mountains and plains will favorize our triangulations. Our measurements will allow us to know the exact shape of the Earth. Egg, oval, or globe? Hmm. That is the question. With this knowledge, France and Spain will have the privilege of navigational precision. Won't the Spanish then have too great an advantage at war? It was the only way to gain access to Quito. Quito? Hmm. They're always one step ahead. Now that we are allies, perhaps we will walk together. Perhaps. Still, I'm surprised they are allowing your expedition through. Are they not worried about smuggling? Oh, probably, but for all their military might, they're not as strong as we are in the sciences. Then no! Then. And they are sending us a couple of chaperones. Have you met Antonio de Olaf yet? I hear he's quite the prodigy. Not yet. I'm sure it would be a great pleasure. Okay. Those eavesdropping missions suck. Every last one of them. That pulse must be important. Where the heck is this guy going? Hit him. Spain continues to insist the expedition wait for a Spanish ship. But we are allies now. Can they not be persuaded to allow a single French vessel passage in the name of science? We are, after all, allowing Spanish chaperones on board. Signed, Louis Godet. He does not realize the risks of this voyage. There's still two more. Even though we completed it, let's do them all. Why not? I know you. You're the one with the ghost ship. I have a job for you. Hmm. I sense you're looking for information. Meanwhile, I have information. And I'm sure you have some condition for giving it. Yeah. My rival uses slaves to fish three times my hole. If they were freed, the slave that is, I would be so relieved. For their health, of course. <laughs> of course. Consider it done. OK, 
Okay. Somewhere up here. What? I was way out of the bubble and he still got alerted. Oh crap. Oh, can't go that way. Man, I'm not trying to kill anybody. see me I just need that one key that's why I need to take the key oh the guy's not even here what Okay, then. <laughs> I'll just go to the other one, then. Hey, he's just gone. I don't know where he went. the chase oh this guy oh he's getting caught look at him he's getting slow he's starting to huff and puff we got him Strange time to be delivering a message. Does it by any chance concern the expedition that's leaving shortly? Who are you to care? Uh. Tell me what you know, or I will wring it out of you. No! Very well. The governor wanted me to tell the harbor master to allow friendship to be sent, rather than a Spanish one, on the condition that. Certain goods be transported as a... as a special favor. The expedition will also be used for smuggling. Well, I wouldn't say it so plainly, but... Thank you. Good night. Uh... Alright, we'll leave that guy alone. Wait. Okay. I thought it wasn't going to give me credit for that. Is he back? No, this guy is just gone, bro. I don't know where he is. Okay. Well, the game just like glitched him out. Well, I'll just re I'll just return these ones in. beyond imagination these scientists aim to record navigational secrets for our beloved kings to use at war but we can seize them to extraordinary advantage for my brotherhood and the maroon we need only supply literate recruits and the rest will take care of itself that is all nothing more on the governor that is all <laughs> that is everything how many more could be freed with this knowledge in our hands all things require balance, Adewale. 
To achieve independence, the Mayon require stability, anonymity, and information. That has always been my role. What now? Oof. That is what I thought. The storm brought you in, and you will leave on the tempest of opportunity and imagination. And I will be left here to do what I can. Powerless. No, any day now the Maroons will rise up. Then I will leave, not before I've decided. You are as arrogant as the French. Bria, all of you. That is all you are. Bastian? No, go now. She's not happy. He was so excited to present that knowledge to her too. She didn't see the valuability of it though. She didn't see it at all. I guess it's not too valuable to her, but I don't think she wants to lose what she has, which makes sense. Liberate Wellington Plantation in the Caribbean Sea. Okay, we have to leave then. Where is that? Is it this one? Yeah, I was actually going to go there. All right, we got to go back to our boat then. All right, so we're heading to Wellington right now. And it looks like there's a big ship right here. I did upgrade my heavy shot and a couple other different things in the... Harbor Master menu. So hopefully we're doing a little bit better there. Not a fully upgraded ship, but we're getting there. It's probably strong though. Yeah, the heavy shots are definitely doing some damage. We're getting torn up. Uh, the waves stopped me there. There it is. Remember that ship wrecked us last time. So we were actually able to go in this time around. All right, let's board. All right. Can we get those guys right there? Yeah. All right, let's get the machete out. We should be ready. We're going to try the rope darts this time around. They should do concerts of the music for this game. I'd go. I'm sure a lot of other Assassin's Creed fans would go too. Ooh. Is he about to shoot? No. He's just bluffing. What the heck? Attack me so fast. Oh, thanks for the help. God, we're getting rid of all of them. Let's get this guy. Get him. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Nope, it doesn't work. We got to go to the other one. Other side. We got to destroy the flag. I can't I can't snipe with my pistol anymore, bro. That part sucks.
I don't think the blunderbuss can sh shoot that far. I could have tried, I guess. I'll just take him out. All right, let's go down and then we'll go back up. Yeah, we just got to go up here. Come on, you got this. I could have just destroyed it right there. There we go. What should we do with this though? Should we use it to repair? I think so. That's a lot of rum. You get like 2,000 royales, like every time you capture one of those ships, that's a lot. Hold in the stunts, stock. Bring me in, boys. All right, we should get the viewpoint because that's kind of important. We can get one of the guys over here. guy over there oh he's gonna see me no he's not oh I think his friend saw me Not another guy up ahead. Two of them. We can get this guy though. And the other guy should be eat. Ooh. Spoke too soon. Still easy. All right, let's go up here. We also got to remember we have firecrackers. If I need a distraction of any kind. I want to synchronize real quick. up there right oh there's some guys up here
Oh, don't pick it up. I actually wanted to loot the body. Just in case they had any darts or anything on them. Same with this guy. They just have money? That was scary. I wasn't sure if I could do that or not. Come on in. Come on in. Come over here. Nope. Not going to do it. Get him. Uh oh. Oops. Almost there, guys. We're doing great. We have stealth all the way around. Pretty much. Oh, we did it. You need to take shelter until the day is done. Nice and liberated. You got a lot of rewards. Okay, there was a chest that I missed out there that I kind of want. So I'm going to go out there again and grab it. Escort ships destroyed? I destroyed some ships earlier that were in this area. Go ahead and grab this. There's only five chests. How many of you guys beat this game? Because I was looking around on some forums and such, and there was a lot of people saying that they'd never even heard of this game. This and Liberation, I think those ones get overlooked a lot. I had a couple friends telling me that too, how they've been watching my marathon and they didn't even know that some of the Assassin's Creed games that I played even existed. Which is funny because I felt the same way when I started playing the series because when it came to like Brotherhood and Revelations, I didn't know those were a thing. And then Liberation, nope. Freedom Cry, I, I remember something being shown of this like at a, I don't think it was at an award show. I think it was like at E3 or something, but I don't really remember much about it. I don't think I was really paying attention that much because like I wasn't into Assassin's Creed. It's just really interesting to see when people got into this series. I feel the same way with um, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is just like that also where you find out that people got into that series kind of late, you know?
I think Origins, Assassin's Creed Origins brought in a lot of people. Because I know a lot of people that started with that game and kind of worked their way up. They played Origins, then they played um, Odyssey, and then Valhalla. I need to get metal, I think. For an upgrade. So as I'm sailing back to this other mission, I'm going to try to get some metal. I can see what these ships have. Jeez. They're so far away. It was really nice to start from the beginning, though. I'm happy that I played the game the way that I did. Uh, I don't need sugar though. Am I going back to, can I just fast travel back? Yeah, I can. All right, I'm going to go back to the brothel. And see what the next mission's about. Sorry. Is she upstairs? Bastard, what's going on? She looks really worried. Your ambition still gives me pause. But I promised Auguste my help. What's this? The Forge Manifest. Or so I am told. One of your famous recruits wrote it. Joachim Francois. Henry Marchand. Fortuné Jean. Good. I'm sure you will serve the expedition well. Louis Godin will meet with the harbor master to arrange the remaining affairs of your expeditionary voyage. You may take the opportunity to switch the manifest. At your signal, we will be ready to board. Thank you. And thank you, Bastien. Anything for the Marron of Saint Domingue. All right, let's find him. Leave that guy alone. All right, he should be up ahead. There he is. Of course, we got to tail him. the jailer <gasps> he turned around what the 
<laughs> he sees me on the roof, I'm dead. All right, we're gonna put this guy to sleep. He doesn't bother me. Uh oh. Why is the screen flickering? He's right there. Chill out. Oh, he sees me through that? Okay, yeah, now he's kind of far away. to swap the manifest. I'd be able to take that guy out. I should have just used the firecrackers instead. I was going to use those. All right, we can do that this time. I can definitely get it. Can we swap? Can we swap? Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. How long does it take? Okay, escape the area. Oh. They all saw me. Oh, this is bad. There's guys everywhere, man. Let's use some smoke bombs. That's a wrap. Him. We must defend that ship. 
French or not, these scientists must reach their destination. Our people must capture their secrets. The knowledge is more important than any cargo. Aye, Captain. Max. He's worth the fight. With a little skill in the right wind, it won't last long. Okay, this song is hitting. There's like mines everywhere though. What the heck? Just run into him. Ram him. Nice. Yeah, we're getting really unlucky with these storms. Gotta get rid of all these pirates. Give me the loot. I know I shouldn't shoot the sails, but that's all I can see. smart at all oh nice that was a solid shot let's get him whoa they're coming in hot we got him though. The ship didn't take any damage. Lose all. Let's move. Oh, we won. Cool. Can you picture it, Augustine? Once you are trained and our recruits return with these navigational secrets, you will be able to go explore and recruit from any land. It will be a great temptation. But my fight is in poor repress, Adiwan. I must stay focused. Build a maroon navy then. Do not mistake my gratitude, Adiwale. This ship is a grand blessing. An advanced knowledge of the seas, a boon to our lives. My world will not crave an empire, only independence over our own territory. Very well, Augustine. But mark my words. That's great. You will be fit to command the navy of one ship or many when our work here is done. All right, let's start harpooning. My favorite thing. A hammerhead shark, my favorite. Got him. Let's do it. Off we go. See that? Bad throw. Bad throw. Dang, I used to be so good at this. What the heck happened? See anything yet? He's headed this way. Stop it now. Wait for it. Oh, he he Watch tricked out. me. That was nice. This one's dangerous. He definitely juked me out there. I 
I see him off the starboard bow. Are you serious? Oh my god. This is embarrassing. The rope is holding. Steady now. Uh. What the heck? I used to be so good at that. I used to be able to take them out in like three, three throws. My aim was just super off. It is tough at points though. All right, let's go this way. Do we have to go back to the brothel? Where are we going? Yeah, we're going back here. Okay, then. There's so much of the map that I didn't do, and I kind of want to do it now. I don't like seeing it empty like that. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> He's probably going to be mad. No, no, we're good. with the ship a day Augustin has learned of another slave ship to intercept I beg you to reconsider special orders from the sometimes confidant the governor no it is as I feared with all the slaves you have freed the French are in panic let the French live in the fear they earned it is not so simple curfews are strict punishments are harsher and more frequent you help the ones you freed, but at what cost to the ones you can't? A small price for independence. The sooner Augustine's revolution comes, I would listen to her. The sooner all slaves will live in peace as free people. Gouverneur de Fayette threatens retaliation. Then he is behind this. No. Adwali. Not another word. I don't want to hear it. He needs to listen to her just a little bit. I don't know. This is a tough one. Give me some in your pirate days. Did you cross many slave ships? More than a few. But when I sailed with Kenway, plunder was the only prize. Plunder or information leading to more plunder. Did you never wish to enter me? It is wise for a quartermaster to keep his wishes to himself if he also wishes to remain as quartermaster. But yes, the thought did cross my mind. When the assassins offered me the opportunity to pursue more serious aims, I left the plundering behind. But Which is good for him. Also? No, for I am still an assassin, and I have found them again. I would not trade my years as a pirate for anything. You enjoyed your freedom. They hardened me for the work we do today. And when I am done, you will also have pirates to thank for your training. Yes, Captain. I like he, how he still talks about Kenway and him being a quartermaster. He was the best quartermaster. Let's let's talk about that. And yeah, he did keep his yeah, thoughts to himself a lot. You could tell he really did want to say some things. And there was a couple times where he did. Fire! He's a good man. Oh, nice. Fire! 
Where's the last ship at? Oh, it's behind me. Oh, wait, what's going on? No. Now sink the ship. They're trying to. If we don't act fast, Captain. We gotta get him. Oh, what the heck? I just shot the, sh the stupid slave ship, man. It got caught in the crossfire and got sunk by me. We got him. Reef in all tops. We can get this. Clue up gallons. Is there anyone on that ship anymore? I don't think so, right? Captain Ade, I think we must act fast. Oh, you can hear people screaming. I'll go below. Control these fires, then prepare the expert or credit to receive survivors. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, no. Oh, the music here. Oh my God. We're losing so many people. Oh my God. Hurry. This is terrible. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, you can't save everyone though. Come on. Go now. There's more in here. Jeez. Go now. Wow, this is such a powerful scene. That's all I could help? God. 
man, I need a break. That was a lot. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm getting emotional. I thought I understood his indifference. I did not anticipate the extent of his heartlessness. You tried to warn me. We are all guilty. A governor will pay with his own life. My creed demands that I see to it. C'est la main. C'est raté. Revenge is called comfort. Once the fire is gone. Another tyrant will take his place. His death must give this generation of warriors hope. They must not abandon the goal of independence. And the death of these souls? So, barely new life. We will always mourn them. That's so terrible to see, man. I guess you just think about it, right? And you're just like, People actually went through this. Like imagine being how being scared for your life right there. Like in a situation like that where you, there's nothing you can do. You're literally just going to die and you're just waiting for it to happen. For a lot of people, there wasn't an Atawale to come in and save them. You know, that's unfortunate. That should never happen to anyone. Man, that's tough. It's like one of those things that hits even harder because you, you see that stuff still happening today you know you turn on the news you go on twitter this this stuff is still happening in the world and it's like how why it's horrible it's like have we really learned have we as people sometimes it doesn't feel that way I definitely want this metal. Dang, I, I don't think I don't think every any game has had a scene like that that's made me like break down like that. You know, you play a lot of video games and stuff and you feel like you're desensitized to seeing people die, you know, and you feel like you've seen it before and you wouldn't cry at a scene like that, but I don't know if it's just me getting older. I'm just appreciating life more. Or if that stuff still hits me hard you know i don't i don't know i do feel like the older i've gotten the more i don't like playing games that are violent <laughs> for the most part 
I'm not talking about like the Call of Duties and such, but I'm talking about like it is kind of hard for me to play games like Grand Theft Auto anymore because it, it hits so close to home. Like I know everyone was so excited for GTA 6 and such, but I don't know with like the current state of the actual world and the things that I see on TV and the news all the time, it kind of sucked the the hype that I have out of Grand Theft Auto. Like when I was young, I used to love Grand Theft Auto. I used to, you know, camp out and buy the new games. And I couldn't wait until my dad brought me the new Grand Theft Auto game. But nowadays, I don't know. I don't rush to it anymore. It just feels too real. You know, I guess when I was a kid, there was that innocence where of like, you just think this stuff is fantasy. You know what I mean? It's just a game. It is what it is. Alright, let's do this. Boarding it up. They got scouts up top too. I wish they would have like changed this up a little bit. But I feel like these like little objectives that you have to do, they've gotten stale. Very, very stale. Let's do the gun. Oh, on button. Oh my God. You know, it's really weird because I don't know if you guys remember, but in Modern Warfare 2, there was a scene where you go into an airport and it was very controversial at the time because this was post 9-11, of course, right? But there's a scene where you go into the airport and you're playing as a terrorist and you're just like shooting people up, you know? You on, and at that time, like as a teenager, I think I was like a preteen at that time. That scene didn't really mean much to me, you know what I mean? Like, even though I was alive during 9-11 and I saw that happen, it didn't really mean that much to me. I was like, why is everybody so upset about this? It's just game, you know? But like, now, older me, like looking at that, like, if they did a scene like that nowadays, I don't think I'd be able to handle it at all. Like I said, like, it, like now that I know that stuff's not fantasy, now that that stuff is like almost it's happening a lot, right? It's happening in reality a lot. It's hard for me to disconnect, right? It's just interesting how that's been for me as I've gotten older. Do I have enough to, I think I do. I have enough to upgrade the cannons, I do believe. Let's try it. Yeah, let's upgrade them. I should have upgraded the mortars, but cannons, mortars, cannons, mortars. I use cannons more than mortars. I know a lot of you guys use the mortars because you always talk about it, but I feel like I use the heavy shot and the cannons a lot more than the mortars. Well concluded. All right, let's uh, 
I think we can we can fit another mission in. Maybe another mission or two. Let's get some ammo. Some sleep darts. More firecrackers. Why not? And smoke. Excuse me? Is my ship underwater? Oh my god, I don't know what happened. We're not gonna talk about it. Let's uh oh I was gonna go here. Before that glitch rudely interrupted my thinking. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. I've seen some crazy stuff. Not even just in this game. I feel like I have bad luck when it comes to glitches. I feel like when I play games by myself, I never run into glitches. But when I play Hold games on my channel, I run into all kinds of glitches, man. Like in Red Dead, I ran into a couple of glitches in the recent episodes and people were just like, wait, I haven't seen this glitch before. And I'm just like, what? You haven't? And they're like, no. <laughs> Like I've, I've done so many playthroughs of this game and I've never seen that happen. I'm like, I just get lucky like that, I guess, man. There's a chest over here? Yeah, there is. Is it worth a lot? I got a decent amount of money from it. Uh, let me look through the spyglass. Anybody have metal? No. So I will not be fighting you if you don't have metal. I'm going to go down here. I just need metal. Oh wait, can I buy weapons? I've been meaning to do that. Is there a better machete you can buy? Yeah, there is. Oh, but you have to liberate slaves to get it. Oh, I see. Oh, so that's why you want to liberate slaves. Oh. All right. That's kind of cool. That's a good way to do that, though. Believe it this time. The governor grows complacent. His guards lazy. They have already forgotten the terror they wrought. I will remind. Once you have removed the fire, you will no longer be safe here. Nor will the Maroons be if I stay. It will bring me sadness to see you go. Oh, is this the end? To celebrate Maroon independence. Oops. You know well the grounds of the governor's residence. Choose your moment. Do not get caught. This is feeling like the last mission. That's no good. If that's true, that's upsetting. I hope not. liberate these slaves real quick oh that's a lot of people yo can the camera like not do that if i can do this oh man i'm dead
I do think it takes him a, a long time to kill people though. I just annihilated a whole army. It's not over yet. I was trying so hard not to get shot. Oh, there's more coming. This whole place is alerted. There's so many guys. They just come out of nowhere, too. That's satisfying. Is there a side way to get in? Oh, it looks like this tree, possibly. Where do they hide the ghost ship? Brothers, they did not survive the journey here. I will personally find and kill every last one of you until I find my answer. Where is the hideout of the Maroons? I can't either. I have no information to give. Ooh, how do you even get to that guy? I have no idea. What the heck? Oh, they're dying. Shoot. I don't know if there's really a way to save them. about to run right into me. Nice. I could probably run up and get him right here. Or... Got him. 
Who will come to your rescue? Your slaves? The overseers who follow your orders? Pathetic. What kind of man does not fight for himself? Why? I have killed many men on principle, but never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you. To understand what it is to gasp and beg for your life. Like the innocents you drowned. You mean those slaves? That ship? But they're not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> like you. I only wish that were true. Ignorant to the end. Jeez. What a disgusting man. That's why he took a huge L there. It is done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh. After all this time, you lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light at a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins and whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to serve this to. I will keep it for memory. That's it. Ah, it was that short. Okay, that was a lot shorter than I thought. That was crazy, though. I really like that. That was a great story. Like, it didn't overstay its welcome. It was a lot more of Assassin's Creed 4. And I don't know. I just really enjoy Etowale seeing his story and such. Getting the little bit of history of the West Indies. Because I don't know much about the West Indies, to be honest with you guys. So it was nice to get just little snippets of it and be able to see the African culture, the music, um, just everything I feel like came together really well in this DLC. I can definitely see that Ubisoft cared about the material. It wasn't one of those things where it was just like, oh, let's just do a black assassin and that's it. Like, they had some pieces in here that got me emotional and they definitely did their research here. And that's important. That's very important. All right. With that being said, Freedom Cry is done and we will move on to Assassin's Creed Rogue. I really appreciate all of you guys for supporting the series thus far. Sorry it took me so long to play Freedom Cry, but we're here now and we finished it and it was a great story that we will see continue in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Hopefully they do mention it a few times. I know some of you guys already told me that they do. So yeah, I had a good time with this one. It was great. Hopefully you guys enjoy too. Hit that like button if you did. Comment down below any tips or advice before I move on over to Rogue and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.